Parents of Reddit, when did you realize your kid is not a winner? Should have seen my father beam with pride when he saw his son, a bench rider on the local kids basketball team, score his first layup in a game, on his own net. I had my first clue at the moment of his birth. The doctors said they had to take him away to suction his throat out because he had crapped inside me and had swallowed inhaled it, literally born eating crap. I didn't even know that could happen, till. At 13, my stepson asked us how to spell ADHD. Last month, he finally realized that which is not spelled which. He's 15. This is why you should read to your kids at an early age. My son is a winner. During soccer warm up he plays like a champ. During the game, he runs around chasing butterflies. He's 8. I'm his coach. My older daughter is a solid B student, with encouragement, the least athletic person in the world, a devotee of Cartoon Network and Minecraft, and not musical in the least. My husband keeps trying to get her into lessons and on teams so she can find something to excel at, because so far it hasn't been apparent. What he doesn't get is that she is the happiest and kindest kid in the world. The teachers pay her with the special needs kids at school as a buddy all the time. She brings coffee to the old people in wheelchairs at church. She sees good in just about everyone she meets and she's pretty grateful for everything she gets. Far more grateful than most kids. That's what makes her a winner in my eyes. But to most people, she's still the kid who runs the wrong way on the soccer field. If your husband wants her to get involved maybe find some volunteering activities for her. Sounds like an opportunity to let her people skills shine. Two weeks old. Ran into the room where my son was screaming, only to find him pulling his own hair. He won't be smart, but he is sweet, like Lenny. Just keep him away from small animals. My kid is fine. He is a typical lost 20 year old. But once, all it took was something shiny. When he was about 10, we were leaving to go to the movies, literally walking out the door. I said you better get your coat, the theater will get cold. So I go to the car. He goes to get his coat. 5 minutes go by. 10 minutes and I am WTF where is he? So I go to his room. Where and how do I find him? He is upside down in his clothes hamper in nothing but his underwear. It took me a few minutes to figure out what I was looking at. Me. Why are you in the hamper? Him. I don't know. Me. Where are your clothes? Him. I don't know. Me. Sigh. Get dressed and get in the freaking car. Sounds to me like he accidentally discovered masturbating that day. The other day, my 20 month old purposely slammed his head into the oven door. Of course it hurt. He cried. I picked him up and I comforted him. Once he was all okay, I put him back down on the floor. And he immediately walked back over to the oven door and smashed his head into it as hard as he could. Guess I don't have to worry about saving money for college. He's a scientist. Had to repeat the experiment to see if he gets the same results. I've been dating this woman for a few months now who has a 4 year old. We have only recently begun meeting each other's children and getting to know them. And her little bundle of joy is quite the oddball. First off he refuses to eat anything that isn't a chocolate chip mini muffin or a hot dog bun. That's right folks. No hot dog or ketchup or anything just the bun. Water is also out of the question. Here's what gets me. He's only 4, but when he gets mad at us whether it's bedtime or we try to get him to drink something other than chocolate milk, he starts threatening to kill us and burn the house down. Have no idea where he heard this crap. We sure don't talk like that. Sounds like that kid is in need of some serious therapy and better boundaries. Edit. Words. My son is unable to choose between one thing and another. He just answers yes, and if I insist on him making a choice, he pretends to be a kitten and crawls into his room. But then again, he's only 3, so he can grow into it. Right. Eventually he'll walk into his room instead. Older sister here. I raised her so it counts. She was 5 or 6. I just removed a pot from the stove. Burner was still reddish from the heat. Sister. Don't touch the stove. It's hot. No it isn't. Watch. Slams hand down onto red hot burner. Screams. 15 years later, she still has to use her hands to determine left from right. We'll get lost in the city we've lived in for years, and not even two weeks ago, while playing a very casual game of basketball, yells out I'm the best in the NFL. 
Sigh. Well, my son got his entire head stuck under the cabinet of his preschool. It was one of those cabinets that's attached to the wall and hovers about 5 inches above the ground. Needless to say, I went to go pick him up, and the fire department was there sawing off the cabinet to remove my son's head from under the cabinet. He was under there for nearly an hour. I worry for him. 1. My wife and I went out for a two week vacation leaving my son home alone. He called her one night telling her he was cooking ramen and the stove wasn't working because the water wouldn't boil as he has been standing around for two hours waiting for it to boil. She asked him what he did. He told her he filled a giant pot full of cold water. He then turned the stove knob to 1. The knob goes from 110. 2. The next day he called her and I answered. He told me he was boiling water with a water kettle, but it too was broken. I asked him what he did. He told me he plugged in the kettle and nothing happens. I asked him if he pour water into the kettle. He said doesn't the kettle itself make the water he then proceeded to touch the kettle and scream out on the phone and burned his hand. 3. The next day, I instructed him to water the garden. He called and told me he tried pulling the trigger of the gun, but nothing shoots out. I was shocked before I realized he was talking about the nozzle gun from the hose. I asked him if he turned on the faucet the hose is connected to. He then asked me which way do I turn the faucet? 4. Just last month, I found him collapsed face down drunk and passed out on our front porch at 6am, with pants missing and only a bath towel to cover his bottom half. Doing some early gardening in the morning, I had trimmed fern branches in my hand, so I whipped his butt with the fern branches to wake him up. He is 27. He is currently an elementary school teacher. Very happy for him, but not one day goes by where I don't wish he doesn't end up accidentally killing one of these kids. Pencil sharpener, scissors for art projects, paper cutters, so many things. Now, I'm not saying my kid isn't a winner, but he isn't about to win any intelligence contests, probably ever. When he was 3, he decided to test the permeability of things. And I don't mean things as in water or sand, I mean walls and cars. And he tested them with his face, repeatedly. Because, you know, giving yourself a black eye from running full force into a minivan isn't enough to prove that you cannot, in fact, walk through cars. He also decided he wanted to be a fish when we were at the pool. He didn't mean he wanted to swim, he meant he wanted to breathe underwater. He proceeded to attempt this, repeatedly. We left the pool soon after I realized I wasn't going to convince him he couldn't be a fish. But he might turn out to be a pretty kick butt football player. Not even when he gave himself that black eye did he cry. And god help me, that kid can take down even his 6 feet 5 inches construction worker bodybuilder uncle if the man isn't bracing against something. The other day he dropped a toy behind the couch while I was going to the bathroom and when I came back the couch was all the way across the room. He's three. Folks, three. So at this point I'm really just praying he loves contact sports. Because I'm thinking that's about his only chance at succeeding in life. That is so awesome. You should record these things for him to see one day. My mom realized it when I was playing in a big basketball game, was staring at a hot girl walking up the bleachers and someone passed me the ball and clocked me in the head with it. I would call that a perfectly normal teenage boy. When he ran to third base after a base hit in his little league tryouts, we did the paternity test later that day and then I went and got drunk at a bar. He's a natural winner man. He doesn't have time for all those steps towards greatness. He takes it. Frick that, my kid is a winner. He drank water from the ocean. Thrice in a row. He tried to get acquired to the taste or taste the sea into submission. My kid is freaking awesome. I was put on the beach. Found some cool stuff. Drank some ocean. Charlie Kelly. I adore my soon to be 8 year old son but he must have been somewhere else when the athletic genes were passed out. Both his mom and I played various sports in high school and he has an uncle who was a D1 college football player, so at least the foundation is there. My poor boy wants to be fast and for a time was convinced he was fast but he's slow. I mean stuck in the mud slow. On the positive side, soccer is his thing and his coach realizes my son is slow but has decent hand-eye coordination and is tall for his age so goalie is his natural position. He also likes it because he gets to boss the other players around. A good lanky keeper is always needed. 
I'm sure my dad thought I was a retard when I was 5 years old and started breathing funny and they had to take me to the doctor. The doctor looked up my nose, grabbed some tweezers, and pulled out a snot coated gum wrapper. I informed the doctor that my dad had given me a piece of gum, but I didn't have a spot to throw away the wrapper, so I stuck it up my nose and kind of forgot about it. I remember when I finished saying that my dad swiped me in the back of the head and said you dozy freak. Since my parents aren't on reddit, I will submit it on their behalf. I still bite my fingers when eating nachos. Maybe I'm not using chopsticks correctly. My kid is the slowest one on his cross country team by, like, several minutes. He does improve, but he's definitely the turtle of the team. He's always close to last not just in his team, but in the entire race. But he's a good kid, and you know what, he shows up, he practices, he tries really hard, and I'm proud of him. Jeez, you might be my mother. My youngest is 17 and still has plenty of time. I realize high school was not his thing. His 2.0 GPA was far better than mine. He still has time. As a former 17 year old son who nearly flunked all high school math and science classes, he's got plenty of time. I'm 22 now, in a steady job and on my way to begin a career in editing and publishing, and I still have a lot of time. My brother was worried about his son when the kid would hide behind the curtains and start grunting. This meant that he was crapping his pants. He was a tough one to potty train. My nephew turned out pretty well. He's doing well in med school right now, and well liked by his professors and colleagues. I wish he'd find time for a girlfriend, or a boyfriend, I suspect. So, I guess you can never tell. Kids do weird things. My sons are tall, lean, light hair, blue eyes and according to their teachers exceptionally smart. They're also male white and American. They hit the frickin' jackpot. Past that, they are pretty well fricked. I watched the oldest jump off the couch onto a blanket. Not a thick blanket, just a thin blanket. He cried because it hurt when he landed. He fully expected the thin, nothing of a blanket to cushion his fall. The youngest is starting to walk but can't figure out why if he falls into walls it hurts. For some reason I assume they were, like, 17 year old bombshell Norwegian dudes and the image of a dumb sexy Norwegian guy doing this was adorable. Didn't even think for a second they could be toddlers. Fortunately, I was a grown up before I became a parent, so I never had any illusions as to the fact that my child was a normal human being, completely unexceptional to anyone but me and her mother. To me, she is the stars and the moon. I feel incredibly lucky, blessed even, to have a healthy little girl who looks like me and my wife. She annoys the crap out of me much of the time, but she does it such a way that I can't help smiling. I love this post, so what if your child isn't some sort of genius in academics or sports, music, acting, etc. Just be their parent and love and support them. Keep them from being fricked up. Well I'm guessing my so's cousin realized it when her kid started failing his classes in grade 11 because he just couldn't be bothered to do anything but sit in his room and smoke pot. M Alfie, come on. When my son was 5, my son is a handful of disrespect for authority and an entitled self-serving piece of crap, but I love him. Since I can't beat him straight, like my parents did me, I am constantly exploring new punishments for him. But all you parents that think your kid is hopeless, he she is not, never give up. My, then, 13 year old son had an award ceremony at school. My wife didn't tell me about it because our son is a special case of disaster. I didn't know about the award ceremony and she didn't go because our kid could never win an award. Well he did, most improvement in academics. Frick me, frick her, we are horrible parents. I really don't suppose any of my children will be famous or excessively wealthy or the best at anything. Sure the boy loves basketball and plays well for a middle schooler, but how many 6 feet white dudes go pro? The girls are smart and funny but so are a lot of people. They probably won't ever be the world darling golden child, but they are mine and I love them and want them to be happy. My mum came to pick me up from school and found me with a hanging wedgie up on the fence. I'm sure at that point she had some idea that I wasn't exactly the coolest kid at school. You know the trope of a high kid looking at his hands and being like, 
Whoa, my hands are so cool I did that, without drugs, between the ages of 2-4. That's when my mom realized I was a little bit special. Can't speak for my parents, but I was there when my BFF had her epiphany. Her son was a tree in his third grade Snow White play. He had no lines. He was permanent stage they go. She's recording the whole tableau with a flip cam when I hear her gasp next to me. From out of nowhere, her little man had whipped out a jar of paste and proceeded to snack on it for the duration of the play. She sat there mortified as he dipped the little stick in the jar and then licked it clean repeatedly. I've never seen any adult who wanted to disappear so badly. When our son said he wanted to join the military. Two years of what do you want to do? Computers? Air traffic control? Medic? Air force? Navy go. Son. Nope. He took a cooking class his senior year, that he barely passed, and signed up as a cook, in the army. Now he makes powdered eggs at 4am every day. I'm intelligent when it comes to academics, however when it comes to basic motor skills and common sense, I fail miserably. Thoughts of perhaps she isn't the brightest have probably traveled through my dad's thoughts a hundred times. I knocked myself unconscious three times before the age of 10. I punched myself in the face when I was happy about a video game. I have an obsession with spiders. A couple of nights ago I bought a huge stuffed one and hung it on my ceiling. At about 3 in the morning the next night day, I woke up to see a giant, hairy spider hanging from my ceiling. I began screaming bloody murder. Flailed around like an epileptic bird. Knocked my lamp off my table and hit my head on the wall. I'm constantly knocking things over. I punched myself in the hand during dance practice hard enough to leave a bruise. I've sprained my right ankle at least 10 times. I constantly forget what class I have next. Yesterday I forgot what a door was called. No, I am not related to Kevin. Lost it and forgot what a door was called. I named him Hodder. It's the only god dang word he says. My wife thinks he won't be a winner, but you know what else has a vocabulary of only their name? Pokemon. So I still have hopes that, together, Hodder and I can become league champions. Hodder's name isn't Hodder, it's Walter I think. There are no not winner kids, it's just that their goals and expectations are very different from what we, adults, conceive. I realized this when I bought a giant doll for her birthday and she started playing with the box it came in. Your child is a cat. My parents must have thought this a lot. Tried to make lava by heating up rocks in pot on the oven. Somehow figured out that adults don't need to breath equals. Hold my breath till I passed out. Several times. Tried to invent a new way to eat. I crushed up plants. Mixed them with water to make a thick green slime and would smear it all over me. Hoping I was able to survive via photosynthesis. Was sent to my room once. Tried to climb out of the first floor using dental silk as rope. Tried to measure the amount of electricity our house had, since I had the notion that electricity is stored somewhere in the wall. By putting things into to socket and build a straight line out of forks and spoons and touch it every few forks to make sure there was still electricity leaking out of the outlet. I am a mathematician now, so I guess everything went okay-ish. There are surely more. We'll need to ask my dad about it. My friend's kid just lies around, shoots himself cries for no reason, and occasionally yells goo. WTF is that even supposed to mean? I think he's an idiot. High school is tough, man. She just turned two and still can't tell a pine tree and a palm tree apart. We've been working on that since she was 18 months old. Crepe myrtle? No problem. Casius pear? No problem. She'll even get pepper and willow trees 75% of the time. But she just can't seem to figure out the difference between palm and pine. What a dumb boss. Not a parent, but my older sister used to have high grades and hang out with her friends a lot. Then she threw a fit about not wanting a job, moved to my mom's and then to her boyfriend's house. Started skipping school, doing drugs, smoking, drinking. Got the cops called on her for being suspected of stealing money. $5,000 from a handicapped kid, various other bull shenanigans. One of my younger sisters also moved in with my dad, is doing well in school and such in general, but she cut off contact with my mom entirely because she dislikes my stepdad. He just put his foot down anytime she acted like an butt. It's killing my mom inside. 
when he skipped high school basketball practice to go get stoned, having already been warned for missing a practice. I almost got him back on the team later, but he never made grades anyway. Oh yeah, as a freshman he was the star of the JV team, and he had been in honors math. Sigh. Well, he asked me if he and his 40 year old stepbrother, they both still live with us, could make their beds into a bunk bed. My parents probably realized this about me when not once, not twice, but three times I became Picasso in the bathroom with my own crap. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.